क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन फिगर साइड ए बी एंड ए सी ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी वी हैव ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंड साइड ए बी एंड ए सी आर एक्सटेंडेड टू पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू Here you can see side AB is extended to point P and side AC is extended to point Q. It is given that angle PBC is less than angle QCB. We have to show that AC is greater than AB. So here we need to prove that side AC is greater than side AB. Here I want you to look at these two angles, angle ABC and angle PBC. I am sure that by now you all know which type of angles are this. Angle ABC and angle PBC are angles of a linear pair. They have common side BC and the non-common sides form a straight line. So, angle ABC and angle PBC are angles of a linear pair. And we know that angles of a linear pair are supplementary. This means their sum is 180 degree. Therefore, angle ABC plus angle P B C is equal to 180 degree. Why is it so? Because they are angles of a linear pair. So in bracket we will write linear pair. And this will consider as equation number 1. Now I want you to refer this to ang angle a C B and angle Q C B. These two angles. What are these two angles? We can clearly see that angle A C B and angle Q C B are angles of a linear pair. They have common arm which is C B and non-common arms forms a straight line. This means angle A C B and angle Q C B are angles of a linear pair. And we know angles of a linear pair are supplementary, which means their sum is 180 degree. So, we will write angle ACB plus angle QCB is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because they are angles of a linear pair. And this will consider as equation number 2. Now look at these two equations. What do you observe? In both the equations, we have 180 degree on right hand side. And 180 degree is equal to 180 degree. What can we write then? We can write that angle ABC plus angle PBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle QCB. Can we write? Of course, yes. Why? Because they have common measurement is equal to 180 degree. This means this two will be equal. So, let us write. We will write from equations 1 and 2. Angle ABC plus angle PBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle QCB. Okay. Now, in the question it is given that angle PBC is less than angle QCB. This is given in the question. That we will make use of. See the equation which we got. Here we have angle PBC. And in the question it is given. Angle PBC is less than angle QCB. Both the angles we have in the equation. 
what can we write then i want you to look at this equation carefully and understand it properly angle pbc is less than angle qbc what does this mean this means angle abc is greater than angle acb okay understand it properly angle pbc is less than qbc that means angle abc is greater than angle acb okay why is it so because addition of these two angles is equal to addition of these two angles if pbc is lesser here qbc is greater which means if pbc is lesser angle then abc will be greater angle here qcb is greater angle then acb will be lesser angle because at the end their addition is equal that is why so from this we can write angle abc is greater than angle acb we have learned theorem 7.7 .7, which is the side opposite to the greater angle is longer so we will mention this statement here we have angle abc which is greater which is the side opposite to angle abc so that side will be greater than the side opposite to angle acb so here we will write it is already proved that angle abc is greater than angle acb that means the side opposite to angle abc that will be greater than the side opposite to angle acb now let us see what are the sides this side opposite to angle abc that means opposite to angle b we have side ac and the side opposite to angle acb which means opposite to angle c we have side ab therefore here we will write ac is greater than ab the side opposite to angle abc is ac and the side opposite to angle acb is ab therefore we will write ac is greater than ab we were asked to prove ac greater than ab which we proved here we completed question number two